kinetic theories of matter. The kinetic theories of matter explains the state of matter in solid, liquid, and gaseous states based on the following assumptions. So there are three states of matters, and then substance can change from one state to another state, and this can be explained by using kinetic theories of matter. And uh, there are a few assumptions in kinetic theories of matter. The first one, the gas consists of very small particles, each of which has a mass. This is uh, the same as the particle theories of matters, okay? Not, not only the gas, eh? okay? All substance or all matters, it consists of a very small particles, eh? And all these particles has mass. And assumption number two, uh, these particles or these molecules are in constant random motion. It means it keep on moving non-stop. Random means that in an unpredictable directions, okay? It moves in all directions without patterns and the rapidly moving particles constantly collide with each other and with the walls of the container so these particles uh, if it's gas okay it will move and collide with the container okay but if it's not gas then it would like uh, liquids or solids so it would just vibrate at a fixed positions so it means that it's, it's, uh, it's in the constant motions keep on moving Keep on moving, okay? And assumption number three, there are forces of attraction between the particles of matter, and these attraction forces will increase as the distance between the particles become closer. There are force between the particles, huh? and if you make these particles closer, the, the force will increase. Assumption number four, the average kinetic energies of the gas particles depends only on the temperature of the system. The higher the temperature, the higher the kinetic energies of the particles. Means that if you give more kinetic energy to this substance or to this matter, uh, the temperature will increase. Higher kinetic energies of the particles, higher temperature. And lower kinetic energy, lower temperature. So if you take out the kinetic energy, then the temperature will drop. Okay, so these are the four assumptions of kinetic theories of matters that you need to know. And uh, probably you will, will use this to explain the change of states of matters, especially in essay question. Kinetic energy and temperature. Okay, what's the relationship? We have discussed just now, okay? Yeah. Uh, temperatures is related to the average kinetic energies of particles. So this typo here, R-A-G-E, uh, not R-A-E-G. So temperature and average kinetic energies of particles are, are related. Uh, when a substance is heated, the kinetic energies of the particles increase. Heated means that we give uh, energy. We give energy to the substance and therefore the kinetic energies of the particles increase eh? and the temperature increase. And uh, substance, if the substance is cooled, cools means that we take out the heat energy. And we take out the heat energies, the kinetic energies of the particles will decrease and the temperature will decrease. Eh? So this is a relationship between the temperature and uh, the average kinetic energies of particles.